Hi everyone and welcome back to Macaroon. In this video, I want to test out some viral YouTube shorts that I came across on my feed. You might have seen a few of these as well, so let's do a deep dive on how these hacks really work. The first one is a very strange clip that I've only seen as a reaction video by other creators. It basically shows someone coloring a rubber glove with a sharpie and the areas covered with ink start to bulge outwards like some creepy alien head. The YouTuber Watcher Haircut tested this one out and the glove balloon broke right after contact with the pen, so it's still not clear whether this trick really works. My theory is that there's some kind of solvent in the sharpie ink that weakens the glove and that causes the colored areas to bulge out. I've experienced something very similar many years ago when I used a solvent-based glue on my unicorn stress ball and it caused the entire thing to pop. So I'm starting with a box of rubber gloves and some alcohol markers. These aren't brand name Sharpies, but I'm hoping that they work the same. Blowing up the glove was trickier than expected and I found it easier to use a straw. To be honest, I was almost 100% sure that this hack would work, so I was very disappointed when nothing happened. The original video doesn't look like a fake, so I'm guessing it comes down to using the raw materials or brands. I noticed that the gloves I used were nitrile, so I found other ones made from latex. I also got some branded Sharpies, so these are basically the same things from the original video. But once again, nothing happened. I thought maybe the glove wasn't inflated enough, but even by pushing around inside, it doesn't seem to do anything. So unfortunately, this first experiment was a total fail. The next viral hack is from a video where someone says you can mix sugar and salt together to create snow. So right from the start, I can tell you this one is fake, because I made a whole video last year on fake snow. The creator simply switches the sugar mixture out with sodium polyacrylate. This is a super absorbent polymer that comes in powder form and it obviously looks almost identical to salt or sugar. Once you add water to it, it expands to create a fluffy snow effect. This is also found inside diapers to make it more absorbent and is the same material that Orbeez are made from. As final proof, I'm making a real mixture of salt and sugar here. Since both of these are water soluble, you can see that adding water simply dissolves everything. And if you think about it, it would be pretty horrifying if salt and sugar expanded inside your body like fake snow. The next DIY is how to make these single-use poppets using Play-Doh. I've seen these a lot in ASMR videos and they look really satisfying. The problem is that I've only watched one tutorial video a long time ago and I forgot to save it, so I have to try remaking these from memory. I just remember that it involves creating a long flat piece of Play-Doh and then wrapping it around the roller. Then you press down the sides to create a pillow or ravioli shape. This makes sense since there's air trapped inside which you can pop. However, the problem I had is that none of my poppers made a noise. I felt maybe the Play-Doh is a bit too soft, so I decided to leave them to dry for a day or two. Maybe it's like clay cracking, where you need the surface to be a bit dry, so you can create an audible sound. Unfortunately, leaving the Play-Doh to dry didn't work either, and I still couldn't get these to pop. This was so frustrating because I felt I was getting close, but I didn't want to upload this video without telling you guys how to make these. So I kept on trying, and apologies for the lighting quality here, because I was just filming in my parents' kitchen. I used some of Isabel's leftover Play-Doh and a round pencil as the roller. This time I realized that a crucial part of the process is to get the Play-Doh as thin as possible. I sealed the edges by pressing down with the pencil, and this time it finally worked. I think it's because there's a lot more air inside, and you also don't have to give it any drying time. I remade this several times, and here are my final tips. It works best with older Play-Doh that's slightly firmer than what you get in a brand new package. You have to roll it out using a thin round tool like a pencil. This is crucial for completing the next step, which is to roll the dough again after you've wrapped it around the pencil. 
try to get this layer as thin as possible without ripping it. Once you have a hollow tube like this, press the sides down to seal it. If you're lucky, then this will create the perfect pop. It's even more satisfying if you pop several at the same time. The next hack claims that you can use hand sanitizer to dissolve the ink on scratch cards. I'm honestly not sure when you'd ever want to use this, but it's an interesting one to try out. I'm applying a blob of sanitizer and it does indeed dissolve the scratch paint layer without affecting anything underneath. I did a bit more research and scratch off ink is a type of latex paint. So the alcohol inside hand sanitizer acts like a solvent and that's why you can dissolve everything instead of just scratching it off. This reminds me a lot of the bubble glove experiment where alcohol based inks are supposed to weaken the surface of latex glove. I'm not sure why this one worked and the other failed, but both of these viral hacks are actually more similar than they appear. The final experiment is a bonus DIY that I actually tested out many years ago on my German channel, but I always wanted to try it again. It involves making holdable bubbles using hot glue. You simply need to apply some glue to the end of a paper straw and then blow through it. The resulting balloon is similar to Bloonies, but without the dangerous chemical fumes. If you want to know more about Bloonies, then be sure to watch this video here. I managed to make a few bubbles, but I noticed that these pop quite easily. They weren't as satisfying as I had hoped, but they were still kind of fun. I hope you enjoyed this compilation and thank you all for your patience between my full length videos. I'm Joanna, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!